record heat, floods, storms, and wildfires devastating communities around the world underscore the grave risks that we all face. UNESCO's vote on the status of Australia's coral reef is a clear and present warning um, and well aligned with this year's challenge. Space for Planet Earth aims to inspire the next generation to create innovation that can help solve the biggest environmental issues that we have. The purpose of the challenge is to enable a broader range of researchers and innovators to take up these tools and help find the solutions we need. The challenge this year has two categories. One is for high school students and the other for university students and startups. Applicants must be living in New Zealand, Australia and the Pacific Islands. The high school level focuses on how to improve monitoring coral health. The university level focuses on carbon sequestration on land or coastal areas. We have partnered with satellite company Planet to leverage their data and applications of their data through the Allen Coral Atlas. Currently, we have over 180 Dove satellites in orbit, which are scanning the entire Earth at medium resolution. This data is being produced on a daily basis and is available now. Data from many different space agency programs are freely available as part of this challenge. The US Geological Survey has been flying a series of satellites since 1972. It means we have, in essence, half a century of imagery which can be interpreted, all freely available. The challenge has a focus on innovation and rapid prototyping and brings together students and innovators to create tomorrow's solutions to today's problems. The challenge winners will receive up to 30000 in cash prize, more data to support their research, and mentorship from Space Base. I think the space part is super cool, satellites are really cool, rockets are really cool, but ultimately what I think is super exciting is what can people on Earth do with this data? to help life on Earth, to help us better manage and take care of our planet. Bold action to tackle the climate crisis is more urgent than ever. Proposals to participate in the Challenge Incubator is now open until October 31st. Final applications are due 31st of January, 2022. If the land is well and the sea is well, the people will thrive.